Thank you, thank you very much. I am your humble host for the evening, Chris Nichols. And now for my humorous monologue, I've got everything. We've got climate change in there, politics, celebrity uh, no, scandals. Chris, sorry, we can't, we, I, we uh. can't do that. It's the, it, the comments, I'll explain later. It's not, believe me, it's not worth it. Uh, I think it's, it's probably more important to go through the cameras, lenses, and best accessories of the year, if that's okay. And on with the show. <laughs> Every year at DP Review, we review an awful lot of equipment but we try and use almost everything that comes out. And that's everything from cameras and lenses, to smartphones and accessories. And of course, we argue about it. And every December, for the past three or four years, we've actually made an official DP Review Awards, where the end result of all of that argument and all of our testing is in the recognition of what we think are the best cameras, lenses and accessories on the market. And now, the winner of the best compact camera of 2018, I give you the Sony RX100 Mark VI. And to present the award, Richard Butler. Cool. Thanks, Chris. We chose the RX106 because it packs an awful lot of image quality into a small body. The autofocus is really good. The video is really impressive. And now they've added a touchscreen, which makes it a much nicer camera to use. Uh, with this model, they've moved to a 24 to 200 mil equivalent zoom, so you get an awful lot of flexibility in a tiny package. And that's really what you want from a compact. And now we have a big one here, the winner of 2018's best zoom lens. We have the Tamron 2875 2.8. It's version 3, RXD. That's right, Chris. Thanks. Uh, congratulations on getting all that reeled off. It is quite a mouthful. It's optically, it's very, very strong. It's lightweight. It's just a great companion for uh, Sony's A7 series cameras. One of the things we're really hoping for next year is to see versions of this for Nikon and Canon mounts as well. But for now, I mean, this is a wonderful standard lens for Sony's uh, full-frame cameras, and uh, yeah, it's a deserving winner. And now, a big award for the evening. I present to you the winner of DP Review's best prime lens of 2018, the Sony FE 24 1.4. Prime, prime lens. Chris, it I says, know, this says to you, this is zoom. I know. I couldn't find the 24 mm 1.4. I don't know who has it. Who has the lens? Rishi. Rishi. So we'll pretend the 24mm 1.4 FE and to give away the award for the evening, Kerry Rose. Okay, so the reason we love the FE 24mm F1.4 is it is the right size. It balances just perfectly on all of the Sony A7 series bodies. It is not exorbitantly expensive, but it's built very well. It's weather sealed and the performance is just staggering. I mean, even wide open, there's almost no coma in the corners. It's a great astrophotography lens and a great lens for nighttime cityscapes. We just like it a lot. Up next, we have DP Reviews Award for Best Video Accessory of 2018. It is the Ronin S, a perfect pairing with the Fuji X-T3. Isn't that right, Dale Baskin? That's right, Chris. We really enjoyed using the Ronin S this year because so many cameras have great video capabilities now, but sometimes the in-body or in-lens stabilization just isn't enough for something you want to do. So gimbals make it very easy, and the Ronin S is nice because it's got great features like an offset motor that allows you to see the screen while you're shooting. It allows you to use a trigger to move the camera around as well as a joystick. And it's just insanely simple to set up. Even if you've never used a gimbal before, the auto tuning feature and the balancing that can accommodate some zoom lenses is very, very helpful. And it even supports remote follow focus and remote start stop with certain cameras. So it's, it's hard to look at this accessory and not fall in love with it. Now our next award is for best photographic accessory of 2018. And this year, DP Review is giving it to a backpack, the Wandered Provoke 21 liter. Dan Bracali is going to tell us all about it. But Dan, we don't have the backpack. Instead, we have your adorable puppy. There you go. Tell us all, all about right. this puppy. So this puppy is a really nice camera backpack. And what we like about it is it has a roll top for expanded storage. It's got two ways to access your camera gear. And it's a bag that's just really versatile for everyday use. And it's not easy to come across a backpack like that, even though there's a ton of them on the market. And everybody thinks it's adorable when you take it for a walk in the park. Exactly. Our next award is for amazing innovation in our industry. Best innovation, photographic industry 2018. And here to present the award, Allison Johnson. Yeah, so it's the Google Pixel 3. Um, for a lot of reasons, it's the best image quality overall we've seen in a smartphone. Um, but really the night sight feature is what puts it over the edge. Um, and it really takes the computational photography aspect like to the next level. We're seeing it rival Micro Four Thirds cameras, not an exaggeration, just because it's layering so many frames and with all that data, you don't have to do as much demosaicing. Yeah, hats off to Google. 
And now I give you the 2018 winner of the best consumer stills and video camera. We have to give it to the lovely Fuji X-T3, don't we, Richard? Absolutely, Chris. Um, it's been a great year for video. Uh, lots of cameras have gone a whole lot better, but our reward has to go to the camera that was already a really strong stills camera, but now has added 10-bit 60p 4K video, which is a really impressive spec, and who'd have thought it would be Fujifilm offering it? The X-T3 is really nice to shoot both as a stills camera and a video camera. And more importantly for me, it's really easy to switch back and forth between both modes. Absolutely, it's our consumer stills video camera of the year. So here we have the winner of the best entry-level ILC camera for 2018 to present the award, Wen May Hill. Thank you, Chris. So for the best entry-level ILC, we have chosen the Canon M50. And this is a camera that's really aimed towards the target audience of users who don't necessarily want the most complicated interface, they're not looking for all the bells and whistles, but they want to be able to just take great photos. Mm -hmm. So this camera has got the great things that we see in the Rebel series, the good color, the good image quality, and it's packaged in a nice small body that is lightweight and easy to use with a touch screen that is super powerful and very reminiscent of the smartphone interface that many people will be used to. The next award goes to a camera which combines ease of use, capability, and affordability. That makes it Deep Review's best mid-range ILC of 2018. Dan Bracaglia, tell us all about this wonderful camera. This is probably the most likable Sony camera I've ever used in a long time. And the reason is, it brings a lot of the great stuff we saw in the A7R 3 and the A9, and it brings it down to this mid-range level. Uh, and whether that's 4K video with stabilization, um, excellent image quality, excellent autofocus, excellent tracking, IAF, dual card slots, good battery life. There's a lot of stuff to like about this camera, so that's why it's our winner. And now I give you Deep Reviews Award for high-end ILC. Of course, it is the Nikon ZZ7 mm -hmm. with an Optech strap on here. What is this? That's my that's my favorite strap. Is it? I'm going I mean, to. It's, I'm just going to throw that away. Yuck. Got a lot of history with that strap. And Kerry Rose, take it away. The reason that we really like the Nikon Z7 is because in so many ways it's it's so close to a D850. And the D850 is one of our favorite cameras as well. And you get incredible dynamic range and detail. You have, you know, just an amazingly well-built body. The controls are sensible, the menus are familiar. The one sort of gripe we have is the autofocus just doesn't seem to be quite as good for moving subjects, but if you move your autofocus point around and you put it exactly where you want it, it's going to focus, honestly, more precisely than a D850 a lot of the time. So this is Nikon's first real attempt at this sort of thing, but it, they got so much right, right out of the gate. I mean, you can take absolutely stellar photographs with this camera. With a better strap on there. Now there's no denying that smartphones have become a huge part of the photographic industry, but which is the best? Well, Deep Review gives its 2018 Best Smartphone Award to the Apple XS. Go with it. Clearly, yeah. it's an Apple. It's an Apple. Uh, Rishi Rishi's got the, the phone. phone. Yeah, Rishi's but got the phone. We have this Apple. Um, <laughs> so, we like the Google Pixel 3 still image quality. It's really innovative, but we had to give it to the XS. There's more to a phone than just image quality. Um, and it really comes through with reliable autofocus, best-in-class video, um, and the depth of field effect is pretty incredible. It mimics actual lens performance at different apertures. So yeah, it just put it over the edge and we had to give it our highest recommendation. And it's the healthy choice. It's good for you too. Like self-driving cars and Kickstarter, the drone has become a daily part of our lives. And so DP Review's 2018 Best Camera Drone Award goes to the DJI Mavic 2, Dale, tell us all about it. Thanks, Chris. We really like the Mavic 2 Pro. This is the drone that the community has wanted DJI to build for many years. It has all of the things we love I'm about flying. the DJI Mavic. It's small, it's foldable, it's portable, and yet they've added the one thing everybody wanted, which is a larger one-inch sensor type camera. Is that Montana so you can Antarctic? get the type of footage you can get with the more expensive uh, Phantom 4 series, Phantom 4 Pro, Phantom 4 Advanced. And it's so simple to fly that even somebody it's like so simple Chris to fly. can fly can this thing it. and do a great job at it. So for 2018, our drone award goes to the DJI well, Mavic 2 Pro. I crashed it. Chris, nobody crashes this. I crashed it.
And now, the moment you've been waiting for, it is the final award of the evening, Deep Your Views 2018 Best Product of the Year, and it's gonna go to, uh, we've got two cameras here, Barney, what's going on? We do, and the reason for that is the, uh, we wanted to make sure that the runner-up, the Fujifilm X-T3, got all due credit, because we really do love the X-T3, such a close runner-up this year, <laughs> but the Canon V1 winner, and this year is the Sony a7 III. And we just love the a7 III. It's, it's got the, all the essentials from the a7R Mark III and the a9, just packaged in a more accessible body. It's so nice to use. It's so affordable. It's got wonderful 4K video and great image quality from its full frame sensor. So in our opinion, really, for the combination of all those qualities, it was our product of the year this year. Well, there you go. A controversial and exciting ending, one that everybody will talk about for, I don't know, at least a month on yeah, the forums. Just don't read the comments. <laughs> Well, as you can see, 2018 has been an exciting year. Lots of fantastic products out there to make our creative work that much better. I'd like to thank the Deep Peer Review Academy for coming down and helping us out. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, check out the Instagram and Twitter feeds. Let us know what you think the best products are of 2018. And now, I think I've got time to squeeze in that edgy monologue. <laughs>